What's up guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make an animated um, server banner for Minecraft. Um, I see a lot of people doing this, you know, charging lots of money, making lots of big templates and stuff, and it's something that everyone seems to be kind of in awe of, because it's a relatively new, like, relatively new thing. Like, I mean, obviously it's been around for a while now, but, like, not that many people know how to do it. Like, it seems to be something that people don't know how to do well. Like, it just... I see like a bunch of templates and then like one guy who actually knows how to do it well and it's kind of like what? So I don't know, it's not hard to do, it's just to like designing anything else really that's motion related I guess. You can put you know a lot of time into it, make some 3D stuff in Cinema 4D or whatever. Um, it's not complicated. For this tutorial I'll just be doing something super simple uh, because I don't want to take a ton of time. Um, but I'll give you the basics on just how to get yourself started and then you can make your own designs. I don't, I'm not here to show you how to be creative or whatever. So this is how you do it. Um, for this, I'm going to be using something I made for a different server or whatever. So it's just a little template dealio I made for myself. It's just you know, a little box and another little box. You can make this yourself. It's super easy. It was not, it's not a big deal. So I've created this new composition. Um, the size, I just Googled it with 468 by 60. But we'll just server name uh, we'll just make it all really small so it's gonna look low quality it's going to look low quality but that's just because you're really close it's really small and you're making it way bigger so it's gonna be low quality just it'll be fine just don't worry about the low quality it'll be like that all over the place so different font maybe that's not most Perry hotter um, Where's like a professional looking font? Cold bold, where is that? Where was it? Where'd it go? I kinda don't like that. But whatever. That looks kind of overused. But we'll just slide it in there. Oh, it's too big. Make it a little smaller than that. That looks better. Um there you go, so centered kind of that's not Oh, it's pretty close to me, whatever. So um, you can make this transition in any way you want. I don't care, but I'm not going to for this tutorial. Um, putting a lot of effects on the text that are super detail oriented, well, you won't really, really, you won't really be able to see it because it's such a small thing. So the things you put in here make them like big, like big picture type deals. Don't look at like small details. Like what I usually like to do, if you've watched my other tutorials, I like to put drop shadows on everything, but is far away you won't really it won't make that big of a difference like if I'm using it in an intro yes because people are gonna be looking at the details but they're gonna be seeing it over and over again this is kind of like something that people don't really pay attention to but it's important because it's like the first thing you see it's like a storefront window right you don't really look at it that often but if it looks like crap you're not gonna shop there right that was a good metaphor I think maybe I don't know so I don't focus on the details too much on this so now let's put in the features um, every good server banner has this even though it's not I don't really know why server banner is such a big deal whatever it's like a store from the window so we'll put like PvP everyone likes that that's a classic um, we'll just put that right there in the middle you can center it more if you're getting paid for this so we'll put PvP and let's create a transition what I like to use is animation composer yeah, 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 everyone likes Animation Composer. I would definitely get it. It's not expensive. I'll Google it right now for you. Boom. Uh, Mr. Horse. I was skeptical, but it's actually super good. I don't know. Is it free? I don't think it is. I feel like it shouldn't be. Oh, it is free. You can get it for free, but the presets you have to pay for. What did I buy? one of them. I don't know, they're all super cool. This one, I think about this one. Jesus Christ, I did not buy that one. There's no way I could afford that. What did I buy? None of these. I don't know, it must have been on sale. I did not, I don't, I hope not. I hope I didn't pay that much for it. Because I would kill myself if I did. So, buy one of those. Uh, maybe not for 65 bucks. That seems like a ripoff. Well, maybe not. I don't, I don't think I paid that much for it though. So, there's got to be some sort of sale sometime, somewhere. Whatever. So, or maybe these came with it. I don't know, like, honestly. I don't... Can I figure out what I have? Manage products? No, I do have that. I don't 
I hope I didn't pay that much for it. So let's do our two-day text here. Animate words. I don't know. There's lots of cool different things you can do here. Flickering. Oh, that's not doing that. Scale. Man, eh, that's kind of boring. Oh, decode. Everyone likes that, right? Eh, they kind of like fly around. That looks kind of cool. We'll put that in there. So with this selected, you know, slider in. Boom. And let's make it shorter, by the way, too, because we don't... I don't know if there's a time limit for these, but I want to kind of limit it under 10 seconds, probably. So we'll make it a tiny little bugger. Oh, click. And lots of the things are like fast cuts in there. Maybe that's maybe a little bit too fast. That looks good. And then I'll uh, transition out, probably the same thing. I'm going to be lazy. Apply as an out. Okie dokie. That looks good to me. Now um, you could probably add some like shock waves or something on there. I don't know. Not my not my job. But uh, yeah, I think shock waves would probably look good with this. Maybe some particles. Everyone likes particles. Um, so now we've got a bunch of them here, so you know they're gonna come in. Make them all the same too. If they're not the same, it looks kinda weird. If they're not, if they're not the same thing, I feel like that would look weird. So um, what's another thing if you will have? Uh, my favorite servers are factions. That's not how you spell that. Factions. No, that's not really a big thing anymore, is it? Uh, we'll do like Skyblock. Everyone, good lord. Skyblock. Um, that's kind of a big thing, isn't it? I don't know. Put that in there. Bang. Right in the middle. Probably can make it bigger. That's okay. It looks good to me. Um, okay. Third thing, custom plugins. Everyone likes talking about their custom plugins, even though like every server, serve, server, every server has it nowadays. So it's not really that big of a deal. Get over yourself. Slider in there. Bang. And obviously, I could just like do with like some scale thing in there. So that looks cool. Bang. That's. You could definitely put more, but I'm lazy and I'm not going to. So we'll just cut it off there. All right, so then it'll just go back to the beginning. Um, another little fun little thing I did on my, the, the first one I ever did, and the only one I've ever done, is I put a na, 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 human saturation. I put it on here just to make this do something, because that's fun, right? So I keyframed the channel range right here, and I just slid it to the end, and then you put a one in this box, and then it'll change colors. Oh, it won't change colors. It, maybe it won't. Frick me. Yeah, so then it'll change colors during it, and then at the end, it will revert back to its original color. And then it'll replay. So that's kind of a cool effect, right? That's cool, that's fun. So if you want an easy effect that looks cool, do that. So next, this is what I had trouble with when I first started making these. Um, to get them into like the correct file for you, you need like a GIF file, right? So we'll add that to render render queue. And I had trouble with this. This is kind of scary. I don't I don't think that Adobe After Effects has the correct file format you need. When you try to export it, okay. If any, if anyone, please help. This file will not delete. It's been on my computer for literally 226 that's like a year right I'm, I feel like it was there before because even longer than that because it will not leave like it won't and I'm stuck I tried to like rename it or something to like make it into some other file but now I'm stuck in an endless cycle because I can't I can't get away from it it won't leave I try to rename it but it doesn't exist try again it doesn't I but now I can't leave it's a never ending cycle with this thing and I can't do anything unless I have that. So help please, because I don't know how to get rid of it. So what was I doing here? What we're going to do instead is um, make a little make a folder. Definitely make a folder. First time I did this, I made the mistake of not making a folder and it was bad. So we'll do tutorial. So just put it in this folder. Okay, if you don't put it in a folder, it will screw you. Okay? So definitely put it in a folder. 
uh, output module. You want a PNG sequence. You could also do a Photoshop sequence. I don't know what this is. I don't know what that is either. I don't know. It likes sequences. Something with sequences. All right. Do some sort of sequence. All right. So render. So we'll let it render. It should not take a long time. It's not complicated unless you have like 3D in there, but it's it's not complicated. It's going kind of slow right now, probably because I'm recording. So we're gonna go in here, and most people want to go to the open right away and try to open it, but that doesn't work anymore unless you have an older version of Photoshop. If you have the new one, which you probably do, a lot of people are up to that new whatever with the Adobe Creative Cloud or whatever. So um, the way you have to do it now is file up here. Open as, you need that, right? Um, it's gonna try to make, I don't know what it wants to do. Where did I put it, tutorial? Okay, so now you're gonna get all these files here, you know, right? So we'll just, remember to click, click on this, click image sequence. You have to have that, all right, will just not work. Click open, all right, put in your frame rate. Uh, mine was 60, yours would probably be 60. I would recommend doing 60, it's really easy to do that. If you zoom in, it gets blurry, just don't worry about that. Um, to get this window thing down here, if you don't have it, click window and then histogram. No, it's not histogram, it's timeline. What is histogram? This thing. Why do I have that? Oh, whatever. So, yeah, now you can play through it and you can see your thing. Wow. Cool. Now you can add audio. You could probably have made it in Photoshop itself, but I'm not that good, so I can't. So now, to get this out of here, all right, you're gonna go to File, and you're gonna go to, oh, got a little leggy there, Export, and then Save for Web Legacy, all right? Save for Web, you need Save for Web. All right, hopefully I never delete it, I need it. So it's gonna be right here, right? You're gonna get all this crazy stuff, all right? I don't know what a lot of this means, so just leave it. Um, you're gonna wanna make sure it's this GIF, right? Um, uh, they've probably got a new version of this, that's too weird, so we're going to stay here. Um, image size can be really small, quality by cubic, I don't know what that means, percent 100, probably. Uh, looping options, you want forever. If it does once, I don't know what will happen, but you probably want forever, okay? Because then it'll just, keep, it'll just keep doing its thing over and over and over again, right? So make sure it's what you want. Click Save. Don't click Done, I don't know why that's an option. Whatever. So, uh, images only. I don't know what anything else does, so just click images only. Um, go into your thing right here, right? It's going to be right there. Name it, whatever. Click save. It'll save. It'll exit you out. Probably want to save this document. And then it should be what you need. Where is it? There it is. I'm blind, I think. So, it'll be somewhere in here. Untitled. Wow, look what you've done. You've made this thing.